I watched Stripes the other night for the first time in a long time. I agree. I think that movie holds up very well. I really do. Well, it does, but here's the problem, okay? I just want to reiterate how I hate this. They made it into uh, I watched Cut, which is probably now going to be considered Stripes, you know? And they've added, you know, about 20, 25 minutes to it. Including a big, long, uh, extended uh, subplot where uh, Murray and Ramus escape mm-hmm. uh, and go into, like, this South American country or something. They go to Nicaragua. They go to Nicaragua. Yeah, they go to Nicaragua. Yeah, it's all this 10 years ago. And let me tell you, it doesn't count as stripes. It's it's like this afterthought. I mean, it was smart to cut that out. I always felt it was smart. To I cut couldn't that believe out. it. I was watching it and I was like, God, is this, is this this? You know, I didn't know that it was an extended cut. So, uh, so I was like, God, I don't remember this. I mean, the best thing I can say about the extended cut is that it did include a nude scene with uh, with PJ Souls. Well, that's always uh, good. I mean, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> I mean, that's always a good thing. I, I was, I was, and uh, a boy was, uh, Sean Young is just so beautiful, and this, uh, uh, she was just gorgeous. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a, it's a shame she, she turned out a little crazy, but, uh, or at least that's, that's the, uh, you know, that's the legend. Um, but she is, she's just totally gorgeous. Um, uh, but, uh, again, I hate, I, I, I don't like these extended cuts. I don't like these Apocalypse Now redux. I don't like the version you never saw of The Exorcist. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I despise these because they really ruin the movies. And Oh, they do. And since they're usually released last, that means that it's usually the movie. And that's the way people are going to start seeing the movie from now on. You know, oh, people, I don't people, think... Anyone is going to use, in the redux of Apocalypse Now or even this version of Stripes that you're talking about. They don't when they think of Stripes, they don't think of these things. I really do believe that. I don't. Think well, they... I mean, you know, of course we're, um, you know, I mean, I I watched this extended version on um, on Amazon Prime, so this is oh. where it lives now, and oh, there is no other choice. There's not oh, like, God, oh, I can't go good. and watch the old Stripes, the good Stripes. So, so people <laughs> that, that, have never seen, that have never seen Stripes will watch this and think that it's Stripes, you know. Right. That's oh, what you're God. saying. Oh, that's that. I never yeah. thought of it that way. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Good, people are, the, the, people good are news, watching. the good news is is that none of that new audience is going to bother with a 40-year-old and 35-year-old movie. So they, <laughs> they, they won't watch scary. it. That's scary. You're right. All. Sadly, you're right. Um well, I mean, if they if they happen to be people who like movies, and you know, uh, let's just say the ten percent of people out there that you know are movie fans that are going to go back and watch old movies, they're going to go back and watch you know this this extended stripes, and they're going to go, well, it's okay, but you know, it's kind of long, or. Or watch uh, Apocalypse Now and think, uh, you know, that this is the way it, it was supposed to be. I just, there should be, uh, with these classic movies, the, if you're going to offer the old movie, uh, offer the one that we want to see. So right. you have and a, I feel that way about a, Star Wars, too. You know? Oh, God, you, well, that's... that's yeah, most people do. Yeah. So, But you have a problem with the redux? Like, you'd have a problem if people... Think of the Redux yeah, version. I do, because I think all of that. I think all of that shit with uh, Kurtz's uh, surfboard and all that stuff is silly, and should have been locked out. And the only oh, thing that Kilgore, really Kilgore surfboard, you mean Kilgore? Well, you know, whatever. I mean, yeah, Kilgore. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't see the Barlow Red Kurt surfboard. Was, uh... <laughs> that would have been great if Kurtz would have surfed in it though, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> a big tsunami. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> the outfit would have wiped out. But I think all that stuff, all that stuff is silly. The only thing that's good in the Redux is the French, uh, is the plantation sequence. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And, um, uh, you know, I mean, I really despise the director's cut of uh, of Exorcist, or the producer's cut. I guess it's it's really William Peter Blatty's version. I think that's a, an abomination uh, on a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. And I also feel the same way about the director's cut for uh, Donnie Darko. Oh, which that ruins the movie. Totally ruins the movie. Oh, my God. That To say that that not only does it take you out of the movie, it does this. I was reading about that this on io9 on Friday. If someone had watched the director's cut, and it, it, you feel like you're watching like a highly produced student film. Uh-huh. Um, and, and, and no, it, I agree with you 100%. When that came out, actually, um, in 2003 or 2004, people said, no, there's a reason why you have an editor and you have people yeah. take the scenes out. This is the epitome of that. The director's yeah. cut ruins Donnie Darko. Horrible. Yeah. Um, there's only been two director's cuts that I think have improved the movie, uh, and that's um, Blade Runner, Manos. of course. Oh. Yes. Uh, Blade Runner and uh, THX one one three eight. Surprisingly, mm-hmm. what about Touch I think of Evil? Do you, do you think that that is a? You know, uh, um, I still like the original better than <laughs> better than the. Uh, Which one? I like I, I like the the version that came out in the fifties, uh, not right. okay, the no, Orson no. Welles uh, recut. You know, recut to Orson Welles' uh, thing. I, I like the Henry Mancini music at the mu- at the beginning of it. I, right. I want right. I want all of that. That's the way it is. You know, that's the one we all fell in love with. That's it. You know. Right. Right. Uh, I mean, I think the other one is an interesting curio. Uh, just like I guess all direct most directors' cuts are interesting curios. But I don't think that just because they're made means that they're supposed to supplant the original version. And again, you know, I go back to Star Wars, you know, because the Star Wars, most most big Star Wars fans are clamoring for that original version. Uh, mm-hmm. They still want to see that again. Why not give it to people? Why not let them both exist side by side, <laughs> you know? If you have that movie, you have both versions. Give us an give us a, an option to choose which one. Right, right. To stream, you know. So streaming is the big miracle that everybody shits their pants over, uh, which is not the greatest miracle in the world. It turns out. It, it, right. You know, we're talking at, we're talking to Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio tomorrow night. Is the director's cut of the Abyss better than the original? Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, I would put that one in, in a, an, an improved, uh, yeah, an improved I, column. I would have to put that in improved. Yeah. Because the, the original Abyss did seem like it was missing something. I mean, you could tell when it came out, it was like, what? They're already up on the, on the, uh, surface of the ocean. Like it <laughs> happened in like five seconds. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that's where the meat of uh, of all that um, you know stuff that's added back into the abyss is. Any is, of the you know any of the five directors cuts of Alexander? Any? <laughs> I can't I wish keep I'd it out of the right. I wish I'd never seen any version, but I mean that's just me. 